good morning this is Paul and today I'm showing off our northern lights lavender scallop uh, some people call them the tricolor lavender scallop and they have an even more confusing name uh, which would be I call them Calancho but everybody else online calls them Kellen Koi so this is Kellen Koi Fed uh, or Bryophyllum Fed Shankoi uh, it's native to Madagascar and it's named after a Russian botanist. So this one is variegated form, but it, it's got that extra pink on the top. Now, the ver standard variegated form, the variegata, has some pink as well, but this tricolor has a bit more, and it will pop a lot more in the summertime when it's warmer. Right now it's been cold, and it's at the end of March, and I grow this outdoors. So they do have plenty of blooms here, plenty of blossoms. You can see, really stunning flowers. And I'll go show you the standard variegated form, talk more about it, and also the regular um, lavender scallop. So we have all three here in the yard, so let's go check them out. The lighting's better with the other two. But again, look at this one, see the extra pink, and we'll go look right now at the variegated form, the one that is not labeled uh, Northern Lights or Tricolor, or some even I saw call it Aurora or Borealis. So let's go check it out. So here is a regular variegated form. So you can see it does have some pink on it, but not quite as much as the Tricolor. Although it's really hard for me to tell the difference. I had to look at my notes to make sure. And then look at this. Sometimes you'll get some pink growth here when it's cold, which is very pink. And then you'll also get some really solid white here as well. See it down there? So definitely some similarities between these two, um, but also some minor differences. But they're very, very similar. Uh, the variegated and the tricolor. You can see the roots growing here. It's really easy to take from cuttings here and propagate them. Uh, I grow mine in ground, in soil, and they do fine. They get really, really big. They kind of fall over and then they'll root and spread. Now, do keep some well-draining soil. It is important to have well-draining soil for these succulents. And they're hardy to about 25 to 28 degrees. So again, this is the variegated form, but it does have that pink, and it will pop a lot more and change this summer. So maybe I'll do an update on that, just so you can see the variation uh, between the seasons on these lovely, lovely succulents. All right, I'll go show you the standard form. It has the most flowers on it right now. And here is the standard form, Kalankoi, Koi. So, um, again, native to Madagascar, hardy to 25 to 28 degrees, and this is the regular version of uh, lavender scallops. Likes part sun to full shade. They'll tolerate quite a bit of sun, but they really almost kind of die back and wither in the summer when growing outdoors in Southern California. Now, the, this variety has more blue-green leaves, and it's kind of thick and fleshy, but the flowers are very similar to the other two varieties I showed you. Very beautiful this time of year. And the plant color is just different. You can see it's more green. And the new growth comes out green instead of white. So on this variety of lavender scallops. And then you'll see in the cold weather, we'll kind of really turn them lavender, the leaves. But man, they bloom for several months of the year in Southern California in the winter. They're a winter bloomer. And one of the easiest varieties to take from cuttings so they thrive in our climate and this gets overspray from our lawn you can see and they're really really happy here on this wall this little uh, border wall and they just really thrive in Southern California so there you go I hope that provides some clarity on this variety because there's actually three but two of them look very similar to me. You can see the standard form is just as beautiful. 
All right, there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. And try to get some of these in your garden or grow them indoors in your house. All right, take care. Dude, it's creepy.